Top of the morning to you, Glads. I'm Anthony O'Berkey. And I'm Dee McContreras, and this is your KWHS News. Western State Colorado University kicks off April college visits on April 4th. If you signed up to visit with the CSU Pueblo reps this past Tuesday, they rescheduled for April 6th. For you seniors planning to attend PPCC, mark April 4th on your calendar. That's when the PPCC reps will be here to help you complete your admissions application. They'll be back on April 26th to help you select classes for the fall semester. Remember to get your hall passes from the counseling office to attend these college visits. While you're there, check out other important college-related information such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. Attention all students, if you have overdue books, please return them to the library ASAP to avoid additional fees. Not sure if you have any other outstanding conditions or fees? Check Infinite Campus. Seniors, this is especially important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees by April 25th to ensure you receive your diploma in May. Please pay your fees in the business office. Hey seniors, graduation is about 38 school days away and the senior class would like to include your photos in the graduation slideshow. Get them in early to Benny Trujillo at his email trujilloben2 at wsd3.org. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Remember, last minute submissions may not be included. Check this out. The Madness in March has begun in the library and some books have moved to the next round. Come in and fill out a book ballot to be entered into the weekly drawings in the library for prizes. And who doesn't want to win? But you can't win if you don't get yourself into the library, so visit them soon. Attention all students. The yearbook staff wants you to buy a yearbook while they're still only $65. Go to yearbookforever.com or the business office to buy yours now before the prices go up. Hey Dee, I hear Miss Betsy has a tasty lunch for us today. Want to know what it is? I sure do. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Greetings and happy Friday. Today we're having pulled pork with mashed potatoes and gravy. Come on down and see us. Thanks and have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ms. Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your account. Hey, lads. Remember the backward skate and when you pick that special someone to couple skate with? Remember all the fun of Skate City? Let's go back to the good old days. Senior Council is sponsoring a picnic skate for all of Widefield High School on Wednesday, April 5th from 6 to 8. Tickets are $4.50 to get in and to rent skates, that's an extra $2.50. Hope to see you there. Now here is Elijah Clark with our sports update. Glads, we made it to Friday. I'm Elijah Clark, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Hey Glads, if you haven't cast your vote yet, get her done. For Max Martinez, who has been nominated for the Extra Athlete of the Week, log on to this website to vote for Max. Just do it. WHS Baseball is having another fundraiser at CC's Pizza all day today. Remember to give your receipt to the guest greeter to support this Gladiator Baseball fundraiser. If pizza is not your thing, but Jersey Mike's subs are, remember, the ladies tennis team fundraiser continues until Sunday at Jersey Mike's on the Parkway. See any tennis player for a flyer and use those coupons this weekend. If you haven't set up your dodgeball team, there's still time. The tournament will be the week we return from spring break. The cost is $5 for a five player team. That's $1 per player. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. See Ms. Ship in room 202 to sign up. The Cops vs. Kids charity basketball game is scheduled for April 14th. The games will start at 5.30 in Bowers Gym when the 8th graders take on their teachers. At 7 p.m., a high school team of WHS and Mesa students will take on the Cops. This is a charity event and entry tickets are $2. But wait, there's more. Each entry ticket gets a raffle ticket. If you want more raffle tickets, those will be available for $2 each or $15 for $20. See Deputy Stevens for additional information. If you've been paying attention, you know March is National Athletic Training Month, and Doc has been sharing her insights with us on KWHS. Last week, Fox 21 News was in our very own training room to film a short PSA, and it's on their website featuring Doc, our staff, and students. It will run until the end of the month. You can find it on YouTube. Finally, Glads, here are some scores from the games on Thursday. Despite their best efforts, our Gladiator baseball team suffered another loss to Pueblo East. The boys will be back in action on Saturday at 10 a.m. on the Pueblo Centennial Diamond. The track team brought home some hardware last week, can they repeat this week? You'll have to go out and support them to know for sure. Our ladies soccer team had great energy in their game against Pueblo East but lost. If you haven't seen our ladies soccer team in action yet, you can catch them outside at home on Saturday at 10 a.m. against Florence. How about that? Good luck to all our teams this weekend. We'll have scores for you as soon as we get them. That's all I have for you today. Have a great weekend, Glads, and good luck to our freshmen next week on the park test. I'm Elijah Clark. Back to you, Anthony and Dee. Thanks, Elijah.
Juniors and seniors, the prom is only a month away, and the theme this year is Blast from the Past. So break out your poodle skirts and leather jackets and join us as we rock out on April 22nd at the Double Tree Hotel. Today is the last day to buy tickets at $45. Next week, the ticket prices go up to $50. Stop by the business office to save some cash. The dinner starts at 6.30 p.m. and the dance goes till midnight. Be there or be squared. Ladies, starting on Monday, you can begin making appointments to check out the free dresses in Becca's closet. Contact Miss Molina in room 111 or Miss HK in the library. Remember, Glads, next week starts the park testing. Although the testing itself impacts freshmen the most because they will be taking the test, the rest of us will have a unique schedule to follow, so listen up. Freshmen, to find your test location, please look at the giant sheets in the hall between the main office and the small gym or the science hallway. Everyone else, our teachers should have the testing schedule posted in their classrooms. This is a schedule where we have lunch in the middle of fourth hour and we have silent bells on the television. And finally, Glads, in case you get hungry during park testing, Freshman Council has you covered. They will be selling baked goods in the science hallway before and after school for just a dollar. Be sure to bring your money next week to support the freshman class. Good luck to our freshmen as they take the park test next week. That's all we have for you today. We really appreciate your attention. Have a great St. Patrick's Day. I'm Anthony Berkey. And I'm Dee Contreras, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend. It's hip to